Okay. So last week we made marker prints and we did one that were cool colors and one that was warm colors. And so you should have those today. If not, um, there might be some extra ones where we can use construction paper. Um, but we're gonna make a cute little tree frog. And here's my cute little tree frog. And so I cut him out of the warm colored papers and then I glued him to the cool colored papers and I added some more little drawings of a rainforest back there. So um, I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the warm colors here and uh, for my frog and this is gonna be the background. So I'm gonna set that aside, okay? So now I have handouts at your table for how to draw a cute little rainforest. Of course, I did not bring mine with me when I'm doing this at home. So um, I'm gonna do Sharpie, but you guys should start with pencil, okay? And then when you're done with your pencil, you can go over it with Sharpie. So I'm gonna start with him. And again, I did him on a really small one, but I wanna fill this whole piece of paper up with a cute little frog, something kind of like this, okay? So try to make him big. Now, if you don't want to do his little feet, you don't have to. Um, we could, when we cut this out, we can make sure that all we just really see is his head and his uh, leaf. And so we're gonna start first with his little eyes, or big eyes, I guess I should say. And I wanna start kind of up here. And so I'm gonna do two rainbows, rainbow and rainbow, like that, okay? Then I'm gonna connect him with a line, straight line. Now, these are his eyes, and so now I'm gonna go ahead and do kind of a like parentheses, I'm gonna do curved line like that and a curved line like that. And then I'm gonna connect to make like a big oval shape, all right? So here, we're gonna put two little dots for his nose and then we're gonna do his nice big eyes. So I'm gonna do nice big oval, a little bit different than this one. So I'm gonna do nice big oval, okay? Now I can do it any way I want. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line like this, kind of like in the handout. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little dot here, little dot here. And look, my, my eyes are two different sizes, that's okay. Now, when you're done, you can go ahead and go over with your Sharpie and you can color this in, but right now, since you've only got pencils, just leave it that way, okay? But again, you can do your eyes however you want here. He's got little um, eyelids on him, so you could just draw a little line up there for some eyelids, maybe give him some eyelashes, whatever you wanna do. Now, I wanna make a nice big smiley face. Mine looks kinda like he's burping here. So I'm gonna draw a nice big line like that. Nice curved uh, smiley face. And then I do his cheeks like his he's uh, smiling really big. And so he's got his little cheeks here. Now again, you can do yours however you want. You don't have to do it like that. You could do it where I've got, where he's kind of half smiling here. I'm gonna go ahead and draw it like he's got his mouth open cause he's really happy. And I might even put his, draw his tongue in there, okay? So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and do the leaf. And if you were looking at this leaf, I would think that that leaf was a heart shape, wouldn't you? So I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna kind of turn it on the side, and I wanna make sure that his leaf is right up underneath his chin. So I'm gonna start first with a big leaf, like that, and another one. And it doesn't even have to be perfectly the same. There we go, there's my nice big leaf, okay? And I could draw a little line in here, could have a little stem on it if you wanted to. Um, now I'm gonna do his little arms. And so all I'm gonna do is, well, first I wanna need to do his body. So I'm just gonna draw a straight line down and another line straight line down, okay? Then I'm gonna do again, kind of that curved line I had here. I'm gonna do curved line there and another curved line. So I'm gonna start here, curved line, and here, curved line. Now you can do his hands however you want. Um, I could, I did little triangles here. I mean, I'm sorry, little rectangles. So I did rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. And then I did a little ball on the end. So you can do it however you want. I wanted to kind of have the kind of web feet looking. You could even connect it here like that and that'll make it easier for you to cut. Now, of course you can erase all these lines here. I can't do that. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna do a curved line from here and another curved line from here. And I'm gonna do two lines, like a little rectangle, V, two lines, and then there. And then again, a little ball at the end for his feet. I kinda like this webbed idea like this. So I'm gonna do that on this side. Now, you could add his little legs, but if we cut him out, you may not even see his little like, legs because he might be covering, uh, holding that little, um, leaf in there and we wouldn't even see it. But I'm gonna show you how I did do my legs. So he's got these little feet that 
you know, like your thighs, they're gonna kind of stick out. And so here I'm gonna go ahead and do the one that's gonna stick out. It's gonna come out like that. And I don't even think we'd see his foot because I think the leaf would be covering it, which is great. Now over here, I could do the same thing, except that I want it to come out. I'm gonna pretend like I'm drawing. Here it would come. And now it would come down this way. And then we do his little foot like that. And again, we would do those rectangles. Or sorry, yeah, rectangles. <laughs> The little balls on the end and then you can do the little curved line now the reason i kind of like that curved line is because now we're going to cut him out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fast forward this part of me cutting it out and see how i do it okay okay so you saw how I cut him out, um, like right here, I didn't cut around his toes, um, but I could go back in with my scissors and trim around that. Sometimes it's easier for me to kind of make a big rounded area and then go back in with my scissors and kind of cut these shapes out. Um, sometimes it's kind of hard to get in there when you're trying to cut around a, a, your, your design. So I'm just gonna leave this one like that. So now you would take him and we would put glue on the back of him and we would glue him down, but my glue stick has run out. So um, once I have him glued down, then I could come in here maybe with my Sharpie again, because I look, I cut off his little eyelashes. I could add the eyelashes back on. I didn't even add them over here. Um, you could draw, maybe there's some flies uh, around him. Uh, maybe you could draw like a little line here of some grass. And um, you could take some of these um, shapes here. You could cut something out of this and put it in the background. I took my pencil and I drew like a tree in the background. So we could do something like that because he's in the rainforest, right? I might have some more leaves back here. Um, I could color some of these things in. I did one of those kind of vines that was hanging up here. And so now we can take these things and I took colored pencils. Oops, don't want him to move. Um, I took some colored pencils and just colored this in with colored pencils, but you could use crayons. Um, you could use whatever you want. And again, you're going to sign your name at the bottom here, and there you are.